Hi, I'm James Brannon, and I'm in the Health Quest representing the Northside Open City Store, and I'm going to show you today some tips on how to build the ultimate bowl. Now, of course, you can begin with these recipes, and right over here on the wall, they have describing each one of the calorie counts if you want the script. That's it. I think it's much more fun, much more interesting to build your own. Because I want to show you how I build mine. Everyone has a different technique, but I want to show you how to maximize the good stuff and build a healthy, tasty bowl. The first area in the line are the proteins. Choices of ham, sausage, pepperoni, fish, chicken, pork, seafood, uh, all kinds of good stuff. Um, and so all kinds of good stuff. As far as uh, things I really love, I love the ham. A few bits of ham. It's one of the lower calorie choices and it adds a nice little texture. The other thing today I'm going to do is a little bit of chicken and a little bit of pork. And the pork surprised me. It's actually lower calorie than the beef, which I was not expecting at all. For, if, if you're trying to lose weight though, you want to focus on not moving up too heavy here. It's tempting. In fact, if you really want to go low calorie, turkey is your but I'm not going to go back home today. So, also, if you're a vegetarian, go for tofu. Okay, next. We look for spices. And I know conventional wisdom says, and hey, don't put too much. That's not how I do it. I like to roll up the spices. It's always starting with garlic. You can't have too much garlic. Then, a little bit of the steakhouse oil. And then, possibly my favorite, the Cajun. Next. So I want, in this bowl, we're going a citrusy direction. And really think about when you're building bowls, think about a theme, what direction you want to go. So I want to go citrusy. I'm going to double on the citrus garlic herbs and double on the pepper. Next, I also use a lot of ginger. Ginger has all kinds of good health benefits and adds a nice little citrusy note. Then finally, a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of the yellow curry salt. So I love that with some different spices. You may like it differently, but I encourage you to think, think big. You really want more spices. Okay, now, this is the key to the best bowl. It is the best bowl. Remember the vegetables put down as you go. So, beginning with the base of the vegetable the trio, which you can use for arms open, black beans, and lots of your protein. Then, the classic stir fry mix has onions, carrots, and green beans. And then we're going to go over the green tea vegetable mix, which has a little bit of green bean, bean sprouts, and bean sprouts. And there's me down the line. Uh, continue to build vegetables up. You want to stack them as possible. Now, I'm not going to cabbage right now, I'll explain why in a little bit. But we'll add a little bit of tofu. The tofu is really nice. All kinds of choices here. If you can afford the calories, the potatoes, get you some starchiness. But I'm not going there. What I am doing is snack peas. These are one of the most awesome foods that you can in this grill. I love them with snack peas. Then, I add crabs. Pineapple and the mandarin orange, I add some citrusy nuts. I realize it may seem weird putting fruits and vegetables together, but it's awesome. The pineapple in the purple grill is kind of like barbecue pineapple. While the orange is pretty much cut down completely, but they kind of get mixed in with the sauce. Then I add a little bit of celery and bok choy. Now, we have a problem here. In the structural integrity, you have to keep it together to keep the pile of the vegetable off. This is where it takes real skill. So I next add the vegetables. And we go to the And here's a key to flavor, the garlic water. And I don't put it in the sauce, I'll wipe it on top of the garlic water. Let me see. I loaded the garlic water, usually at least two spoonfuls. And then I get a lot of spinach, as much as possible. You pile it on top. Ideally, you pack it down a little bit. And lastly, I go back to another round of the bell peppers. So now I have it stacked high. 
truthfully, it can be done higher, but this is the size that we got. As you can see, sometimes you have to work a little bit to put it all together. But it's real right at the top of For sauces, this one I'm going to get with half of the ginger sauce, and then I'm going to go half with the citrus ginger. Mostly a citrus based uh, mix of uh, orange juice, uh, lime juice, and lemon juice. And then, for that umami element, the savory, I go for the roasted tomato sauce and I pour it on top. And finally, this sounds weird, get a little bit of the vinegar in the orange sauce, which has honey in it, and pour it on top. The reason for that specifically is it helps to caramelize the flavor. Now, we come over here to call our starch. We have lots of choices, brown rice, beef rice, fried rice, spiral pasta, and our noodles. But I like, now for the contest of mostly brown rice, my favorite actually of mine has been something that's not listed in it, it's cabbage. Many of Angus grills, if you've got a cool grill master, will let you build with cabbage. And so, that's what we're doing. And so after that, they'll, build, they'll cook it for you, and bring it to your table, and it is better awesome. So that's how you build an awesome bubble. Thank you.